Ladies and gentlemen, today we assemble with mixed emotions at this grand pass out parade. On one hand, we are immensely proud of the accomplishments of the illustrious recruits of this cohort. And at the same time, we continue to mourn the recent tragic loss of our departed gallant soldiers, including the late Chief of General Defense, General Francis Omondi Ogola. Their death left a void in our ranks and in our hearts. As members of the Kenya Defense Force community, government, and citizens of Kenya. General Ogola's wise leadership, magnificent example, integrity and dedication exemplified the best of Kenyan professionalism, representing the KDF at its finest and serving as a beacon for all of us. His legacy will continue to inspire many. Please, let us stand for a moment of silence to honor his memory and the lives of those lost alongside him. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this ceremony marks the conclusion of basic military training for the fine and brave young men and women before us, ushering in the beginning of their career in our defense forces that will certainly be challenging and eventful, yet deeply fulfilling. Your training has equipped you with basic skills and helped you to develop the temperament, discipline, and fortitude to successfully embark on a military career. Henceforth, you will begin to grow into your new career, always bearing in mind that millions of your countrymen and women count on your courage and integrity, skill and strength, discipline and commitment to protect our nation. The achievements of these graduates have brought us all here today. We have come to affirm that this is a significant milestone. Your composure, discipline, motivation, courage, and skill have been tested consistently in a variety of ways over the last six months, during which you have proven time and again that you are ready to serve. Your cohort stands out for both its size and diversity. I am very proud of the Kenya Defense Forces that in the history of Kenya, we have the largest women service women in this cohort. This underscores the KDF and government's dedication to gender equity. In our midst, graduating today, are more than a thousand service women joining our illustrious military career. As you transition to your respective services, formations, and units, I remind you of the nation's expectations that you must live up to your professional duty by sustaining the attributes of selflessness, diligence, and team spirit, that you will always and at all times serve the people of Kenya with impartiality and integrity, and that you will respect, uphold, and defend the harmony, unity, and diversity that distinguish and empower our great nation. The oath of allegiance that you have taken today initiates a sacred trust on behalf of the people of Kenya, 
committing you irrevocably to embody the values of patriotism, professionalism, loyalty, and selflessness as the bedrock of your responsibilities as members of the Kenya Defense Forces. On behalf of the people of Kenya, I remind you that the prosperity and security of our nation rely on your steadfast commitment to these ideals in the course of your duties of protecting the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the Republic of Kenya and defending it from all internal and external threats. The Kenya Defense Forces symbolize resilience and dedication in defending our sovereignty and championing initiatives that strengthen our human security. I take this opportunity to commend the KDF for your exemplary contribution to national afforestation efforts. As you know, this campaign is a cornerstone of our national strategy to combat climate change and enhance our environmental resilience, thereby promoting overall security for our people, their properties, and livelihoods. Further, I commend the KDF for their tireless efforts and effective disaster response in the midst of the devastating flood which have affected many parts of our country. The government is committed to relocating and resettling affected families and to significantly enhance national disaster response capabilities to be even better prepared for future emergencies. Further afield, I celebrate the KDF for their iconic peacekeeping role, which complements our nation's well-established credentials in our region and enhances our capacity to face an ever-increasing delicate, complex, and challenging regional and global diplomatic and security environment. Whether in peace support missions abroad or national development projects at home, your actions reflect, reflect competence and efficiency worthy of our trust and the esteem in which our nation is held on the global stage. Therefore, as we honor your achievements, I reaffirm the unwavering support and commitment of the people of Kenya and our government to the continuous enhancement of your capabilities and the promotion of your welfare to ensure that you are equipped to meet current and emerging challenges with confidence. Finally, I applaud the Kenya Defense Recruit Training School community, from the commandant to all members of his staff for their dedication in educating and training our soldiers and equipping them with necessary knowledge and skills for mission readiness. Your collective efforts 